In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a What's Behind My Mask self-portrait. Now, this is a project that we're going to be doing over the course of quite a few weeks. So if you are at home right now doing virtual learning, please do not rush through this and feel like you have to finish it today. This will probably take us a few classes just to draw out all of our details and everything before we even start coloring. So give me quality work rather than quick work. So to start off, you're gonna need a pencil and a piece of white paper. You can use plain computer paper if you like. I am using nine by 12 inch um, drawing paper, but any type of white paper is totally fine. Now, the first step is going to be flip it over and please write your name and your class code on the back. So if you're 2L or 3F, whatever it is, write that on the back, okay? So name and class code. After you do that, we're going to start folding. Now I'm gonna be doing all of my drawing in Sharpie, but I would like you to do pencil first, okay? only pencil for now. So first things first, fold your paper long and tall and I want you to fold it up so that it looks like you're folding it up to kind of the halfway point here, okay? So once you get that kind of lined up, the corners lined up, you're just going to crease it and then when you open it up, you will have kind of like a third a third and a third okay so fold it up like this so now keeping that folded the first thing that I want you to do and again I'm gonna do this in Sharpie I would like you to do it in pencil the first thing that I would like you to do is draw your eyes just above that line okay now you can draw your eyes any way that you like I am going to draw mine as kind of that almond or football shape with sort of the circle in the middle. Now, I'm not gonna get super detailed right now because um, I just don't want this to be a super big video, but if you wanna get into pupils and irises and highlights and all that, you certainly can. Then I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Again, I'm not gonna get super detailed. If you wanna you know, draw little hairs and all that, you can. Um, and then I want to do my hair up here, all right? So I have bangs, but you know what your hair looks like. So if you need to go peek in the mirror, if you want to look in your Chromebook, um, you can, in your Chromebook camera, you can. And then you wanna kind of start to draw just the tips of your ears here. Then you're gonna come down and draw your chin but leave a little bit of space for your neck and then you're going to finish your ears here then you do your mask so you can kind of do like a little line that curves up and down like it's coming over the bridge of your nose and then I like to do these little lines here to show that it's gathered fabric and this is where you can kind of have fun too with like doing different patterns and things like that. You can get more detailed in the ears. You can really be very expressive on the mask with, you know, people have all different patterns and, you know, characters and things on their mask. You really have fun with that. Then we're gonna draw a line here and a line here, sort of in between the center and the ear for your neck. And um, I have my hair kind of just in a ponytail here. So I'm just gonna draw kind of the side of my ponytail there. Um, but really, any way that you want to have your hair is totally fine. Um, if you have glasses, like I do, you can add those as well, along with any other details that you would see on your face that are up high like this, okay? So maybe you wear earrings or anything like that, if you want to detail your ears, however you want to do it, okay? Now, older students, I definitely want you to look in the mirror and get some reference um, 
you know, images and things like that to really make this detailed, but I'm just going through the basics of how to draw this folded. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it and we're going to finish the chin on this part, just like we did before. If you have glasses, you can just kind of finish them. Same thing with the ears. Okay, so you're just completing the things that are incomplete. And now you wanna do your nose. Now, when it's open, I want you to think about what kind of expression you're gonna have. Are you gonna be smiling when the mask comes off? Are you really stressed out right now? So your mask is, you know, behind your mask, maybe you look nervous or maybe you're frowning. So think about how you wanna express yourself in this picture. I'm gonna make myself smiling, but whatever you wanna do is your choice. So I'm gonna do these kind of little parentheses lines for my nose, my nostrils, kind of a little line here and a little bridge here, okay? That's kind of a little basic nose. And then I am going to make myself smiling. this and it can be open smile, closed smile, however you want to do it. Teeth, no teeth, whatever you want. Um, and then from here, I'm also going to do my neck in between the midway point of my chin and my ear. I'll put those lines. And then I'm also going to add my ponytail, my earrings. Um, and now because this is all open, I'm going to also finish my shoulders by drawing a line and a line and some kind of a collar. And you can have fun too with like jewelry or, you know, things on your shirt or whatever. Um, I also have some birthmarks on my face that you can't see when I'm wearing a mask, but I want to include them because they are, you know, kind of part of who I am. Um, now, I also just keep in mind, we're only using pencil for this. If you notice, I'm using Sharpie, but when you go through, see how it kind of bleeds through a little bit? And that could be worse on thinner paper. So make sure you're just starting in pencil. Feel free to do this video step by step. So I always tell my students, you can watch a little pause, do, watch, pause, do. And if you have any questions while you're working, feel free to just unmute your mic and ask me in the live chat.